Welcome back to TYT Sports and Rotowire. Chris Liss and Jason Rubin here. So the uh, NFL best teams of all time, according to the 538 ELO ratings, 538 Nate Silver's website uses Neil Payne involved in these, who does uh, any, anybody who's a sports fan and that doesn't go to, well, either rotowire.com for some great advice from Chris Liss, but also sportsreference.com for, for stats across every single sport. That's where Neil Payne comes from. That's where a lot of these algorithms start getting more from. So it's the best teams according to this rating. The rating uh, we've done for the NBA with myself and Ben Mankwitz. Make sure to check out that clip as well. But that rating has 1,500 as the average. And, of course, teams that blew away the average for the best NFL teams of all time. We're going to start with 20 through 11 pretty quickly because I know there's one on there that Chris is uh, not too happy about. And then we'll move our way up. So... Chris, the 1986 Giants, a team that uh, I was not alive for, but I've seen many NFL Network documentaries wow, on. You weren't even alive really for that. Love. that was like the highlight of my life. <laughs> you know, people are like, oh, my daughter being born or whatever. It's like me, it was the, the 86 Giants. So, because you understand, like, well, first of all, we hated the Jets fans. We despised them. There were fist fights going on between Giants and Jets. And nobody really had a claim to fame, you know, between those two. I mean, Joe Namath, that was before I was born. And so... You know, this was sort of like sealed the deal. Right. You know, this was like, okay, now who's better? They were 14-2. and two. Lawrence Taylor, obviously the one, not only the greatest football player, but one of the greatest human beings ever to walk the mm -hmm. earth. Um, it was just such a devastating team, and to win with defense is always more fun when you're right. a fan because you, you're really just pounding the crap out of other people, and it's just the justice that's missing in your life right. that you get through the team that you root for. It's, it's mm -hmm. just huge. There's not there, there's some re revenge is best by either winning or happiness because nobody likes seeing somebody so happy. So when your team is fourteen and two, when you're beating the crap out of other teams, right. people will just genuinely see how much you enjoy watching mostly that defense, the Lawrence Taylor defense, uh, and I guess I should say the Bill Belichick defensive coordinator. Uh, yeah, he's probably <laughs> cheating, but we just don't know about it yet. They didn't have the technology uh, to bust him for cheating. But I'm, I'm sure he was cheating. I don't want to know because that – no, I'm, obviously, the 86 Giants were one of the top 20 teams of all time. They're in there. Those and ratings. Probably higher than 20 uh, well, according to our ratings. Yeah. Well, my rating, they're one. But, but the, uh, the only other team on there was the 1941 Bears, which you were not alive for. I was alive for that, yeah. 1940. Yeah, I just, I just have a real good – Just because Ben was alive for it doesn't yeah. – <laughs> Right. Yeah, Ben's uh, – but yeah, as soon as you can see, as you go up the list, and we'll go through pretty quickly, uh, probably the only mention of the Redskins uh, in the future and from now going to that point, 1991, the year I happened to be born, was a Redskins year. They won the title. But you'll see as you go into the top ten, let's move to the next card, because one through ten, uh, it's really tough to put a team, and really specifically four, the 83 Redskins, the 68 Baltimore Colts, the 42 Bears, and the 07 Patriots, as a number one even top 10 te without winning a title. I understand why the 2007 Giants won't get an ELO rating of 1,800 or 1,700. Again, 1,500 being the average. I understand that because they were a 9-7 and seven team who backed into the playoffs, had a magical run, and that was maybe one of the greatest moments of my life was when they beat the undefeated Patriots, happened to go to school in New England. It was fantastic to watch those things happen. But I think you agree with this, too. Why would you have any team be the best team of all time without being able to finish the job. Well, the ELO ratings aren't, they don't know that, right? right. They're, they're, just they a, they're just an AI, right? right. They're just not, they just, it's a computer. They're just, they're, what are they using? They're using like yards mm. for and against, points for and against, whatever the formula is. They're just, they're indifferent as to the result, right? And what they're saying is, well, if we could iterate this a million times, that team would have won the most times. But I have to say, I disagree with that also, because if you watch the Super Bowl, it wasn't a couple bad bounces you know, it was the Giants beat the crap out of them physically in the Super Bowl and knocked the crap out of Brady. And it wasn't, you know, well, they just got lucky. They, you know, it, look, the 2000 Ravens got very lucky in a lot of games. They got a ball that was juggled to chin and sharp mm -hmm. caught and ran for a touchdown. The Trent Dilfer led they, Ravens. Yeah, they hurt Rich Gannon in one of the games and, and he was out. That kind of sealed that. The Super Bowl, there was a touchdown by the Giants that was called back in a phantom right. hole. There was a bunch of stuff. And so that wasn't how that Super Bowl went down. That right. was a 50 50 game. And if you mm -hmm. watched that Super Bowl, you would say, you know, each team would probably win it half the time, right? At mm -hmm. that moment, at that moment in time. Well, it was and a so the ELO was... ratings don't know that kind of thing. All they're looking at is the full body of work. And the full body of work, okay, fine, it averages out to the best thing. But that's the problem with, with an AI ranking and why a human ranking is always necessary because they can never 
contextualize certain things, right? I mean, the Patriots were just killing teams. The, the spreads in that year were Patriots minus 28, 25, they 23. They were covering that They were year. covering those spreads, and it was sick. You never see that. Um, but, you know, by the end of the year, they, they were never covering the spread, and they didn't destroy everybody in the playoffs. The Chargers gave them, like, an okay game, and the Giants beat them. And, it, again, it wasn't through luck. So uh, any algorithmic ranking is flawed. Week 17 of that undefeated season for the Patriots year, they did not cover the spread against the Giants. It was a three-point game, if I remember. Right. The Giants almost ruined their perfect season. Right. Only, Before to, only to ruin yeah. their perfect season I'll take later that trade. On. That was a good trade. Let's look back on that card really quick because there's a few other teams that deserve some mentions. I mean, the 2004 Patriots, yeah, Brady rising to become the best quarterback in the league. Uh, Deion Branch but he wasn't and Ty Law. Manning was the best that year. But the Statistically. Patriots D, the Patriots D, Teddy Bruschi, was very good. Rodney year. Harrison, yeah. And I think like it was good. Richard Seymour was there. I think mm -hmm. some of the, you know, Ty Law was there. So yeah. th those are the good teams. I mean, it's just from the 1998 Broncos who were, I believe, if I remember correctly, underdogs to the Packers in the Super Bowl that year. Checking it fourth. That's kind of an interesting one. Um, the, 80, the 89 Monta peak Montana Niners, that's totally that's gonna be peak in Montana there, Rice. You'd expect to see them undefeated. Was that the undefeated team, the, the 73 or the yes. 72 that was undefeated? It must be. There. Well, I how can't could remember. It, if they won the title, under, I, how could they not They be? won two in a row, and I can't right. remember which was which. Um, and then in addition to that, I guess, and I guess we give Cowboy and fans. And the Bears, obviously, 85 Bears. Right. But we'll give the Cowboys fans something like the, the America's team Cowboys are, are going to fill and fit into that top 10 card somewhere, at least human or AI. I don't know, the Giants almost, I, I don't know if it was, nine, I think it was 93 where the Giants almost beat them and Emmett Smith heroically separated his shoulder and, and won that game in overtime. Mm -hmm. And had the Giants won that, I think they get home field instead of Dallas. And Emmett Smith, that, that's, that was sort of his signature Hall of Fame making game. And even as a Giants fan, I was like, had a lot of respect Shit, for good. that performance. Because <laughs> yeah. the Giants were down 13 nothing and a half and came back and went into overtime. It was a sick game. So if you had to pick as a human, not a computer, yeah. who was the greatest NFL team of all time? I mean, that 85 Bears team was pretty ridiculous. The competition level they faced wasn't that great. Mm -hmm. um, so that was one of them. Those Niners, those peak Montana Rice Niner teams in the late 80s were pretty good. The 86 Giants were good. Um, you know, the, the – I don't know that any of those – I mean, those Patriots teams barely won both their Super Bowls. They barely beat the Eagles all, and they barely beat the Panthers. Until they started facing the Giants, all their Super Bowls came on the leg of Adam Vinatieri. Yeah. So I, I don't – you know, I don't put them – you know, to me, the best teams of all time, you know, they may start slow in the regular season, which would, you know, drag down their ELO. But through the playoffs, they destroy whoever they're up against. They just completely destroy them. Uh, and you see that, you know, from that Niners team that blew out the Marino Dolphins, mm -hmm. the 15-1 Niners team in 1984 yeah. that blew out the 14-2 greatest passing team to that, you know, at, at that to date at that time, Dolphins. I, I think those teams are way up there. All right, so there you have it. Chris Liss is uh, his input as the human contextualizing right. the top, or I should say the greatest team in NFL history. Who do you think is the greatest NFL team in history, all time? ELO ratings aside, we use those for reference as an example. Of course, a great list to debate. It comes from 538. We'll link the article in the comments section if you're interested. Uh, but if you want even better analysis and better uh, football news, go to rotowire.com. Check out Chris Liss's stuff. In addition to that, comment below with all your thoughts. Link, subscribe, like, favorite. All the stuff. I'm running out of things to talk about. Follow TYT Sports on Twitter. We'll see you next time.